What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome to the Bowling Green Falcons Dynasty here on NCAA 10 for the PSP. The Bowling Green Falcons compete in the East Division of the Mid-American Conference. They have won 12 conference championships, their last one being in 2015, finishing the season 10-3. The Falcons have played in 12 bowl games throughout its history, compiling a record of 5-7 and seven in those games. In 2015, they would lose to Georgia Southern 58-27 in the Go Daddy Bowl. Not only have they won 5 bowl games, they actually have a national championship dating back to 1959. When it comes to their rivals, Bowling Green plays the Toledo Rockets for the Peace Pipe in the annual Battle of I-75. Additionally, the Falcons compete against Kent State for the Anniversary Award. So, little fun fact about Bowling Green. In 2001, Urban Meyer took his first coaching job at Bowling Green. I did not know that before doing research on this team. In his first season, their team finished 8-3, and, and Urban Meyer earned the Mid-American Conference Coach of the Year that season. So, Bowling Green as a university, their football culture is vastly historical, but we're going to go ahead and start this dynasty. So first things first, guys, we're going to be looking at the preseason polls, and we're ranked number 85 in the nation. We're in a terrible spot to start this dynasty, but you know, it could have been worse. Our overall is a C-, minus. our offense is a D+, plus. we're going to be looking to approve on that, our defense is a C+, plus. and our special teams unit is our greatest strength at B-. minus. Even though we're ranked number 85 in the nation, we are ranked number 4 in the MAC. We're behind Buffalo who's ranked number 1 in the conference, Central Michigan, and Temple. But based on the MAC projections, we're in a great position to win the conference championship. We're ahead of 9 teams, which is amazing to see. So next up guys, we're going to take a look at the roster and I am playing with the updated 2022-2023 rosters. I just go over the overalls for each player. I don't go deep into their attributes because it'll take me a long time to do all that. I like to be surprised on how well that player performs on the field. At quarterback, we have number three, Matt McDonald, the senior red shirt. He has an 80 overall. And then behind him, we have number 11, Camden Orth, the junior quarterback. He has a 72 overall. At halfback, we have number four, Terion Stewart, who is only a sophomore, he has a 78 overall. And then his backup, we have number 21, Trayvon Raymore. He is a junior, he has a 74 overall. Looking at our wide receiver core, we have number 83, Tyrone Broden. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is a junior red shirt and he has an 80 overall. Next, we have number 18, Austin Osborne, who is a senior. He has a 76 overall. Behind Osborne, we have number 85, Javon Kroom, the senior red shirt. He has a 74 overall. And then last, we have number eight, Jalen Embry, who is a freshman redshirt. That is really good. He has a 74 overall as well. So we need to try to recruit a wide receiver because we have two seniors who are leaving at the end of this year. At tight end, we have number 88, Christian Sims, who is a senior. He has a 91 overall, probably the highest overall on our team. Looking at our offensive line, we have number 50, Alex Wulschlanger. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He is a sophomore right tackle, and he has a 74 overall. At left tackle, we have number 52, Jeremiah Banks-Wall, who is a junior, and he has a 74 overall as well. When it comes to our guard positions, we have number 77, Jalen Grant, the junior left guard. He has a 74 overall. At right guard, we have number 65, Jake Burns, who is a sophomore. He has a 70 overall. We have a lot of work to do offensively. At center, we have number 55, Jakari Robinson, the senior redshirt. He has a 72 overall. Taking a look at our defensive line, we have number 44, Carl Brooks, the senior left end. He has an 87 overall. At right end, we have number 56, 
Walter Hare, who is a senior redshirt. He has an 80 overall. At defensive tackle, we have number 37, Billy Roberts, who is a sophomore. He has an 80 overall. Our next defensive tackle, we have number 54, Anthony Hawkins. He is a sophomore as well, and he has a 76 overall. So these guys will be around for a while. We have number six, Bryce Brand, the senior who will be playing left outside linebacker. He has an 80 overall. At right outside linebacker, we have number 16, Demetrius Hardeman, who is a senior. He has a 74 overall. At middle linebacker, we have number 23, Darren Anders, who is a senior. He has a 78 overall. This is his last year with this team. But behind Anders, we have number 34, Brock Horn, who is a junior. He has a 74 overall. At cornerback, we have our defensive captain. He's also an impact player. Number three, Jalen Burton, who is a sophomore. He has an 80 overall. I can't wait to see this guy develop because in his senior year, he should be about an 85 or an 87, somewhere around there. Next, we have number 21, Marcus Shepard, who is a sophomore as well. He has a 76 overall. Next, we have number seven, Davin Ferguson, who is a senior. He has a 76 overall. And last, we have number four, Deshaun Jones, who is a sophomore. He has a 74 overall. Just looking at our cornerbacks, we're gonna have a pretty solid secondary in years to come. At free safety, we have number 40, Jordan Anderson, who is a senior, this is his last year. He has an 86 overall. At free safety, we have number 40, Jordan Anderson. This is his last year. He is a senior, and he has an 86 overall. Behind Anderson, we have number 20, Willie Jones, who is a freshman red shirt. He has a 70 overall. Hopefully, he can develop into a star athlete. At strong safety, we have number five, Chris Bacon, who is a senior. He has a 74 overall. You know, it will be funny if his middle initial was a P, because it will be Chris P. Bacon. You know, okay, I'm sorry. Next up, we have number eight, Trent Sims, who is a sophomore. He has a 74 overall. So pretty much he's gonna be replacing Bacon at the end of this year. At kicker, we have number 93, Mason Lawler, the senior red shirt. He has a 48 overall. That is pretty bad for a kicker. Hopefully he can make a few field goals. As long as he's able to make the extra point, I don't have a problem with him. And last at punter, we have number 99, Sammy Sir. He is a freshman, this is his first year, and he has a 44 overall. So we have 11 freshmen, 22 sophomores, 22 juniors, and 14 seniors. I just know that sophomore and junior class will pave the way for us to win multiple conference championships down the road. We just need to work on that offense. So looking at our team needs for this year, we only have three available scholarships to give throughout this season. We need one fullback, two wide receivers, one center, one defensive tackle, one outside linebacker, one cornerback, and one kicker. Eight players overall. Just by looking at our team needs, I am going to go after a fullback, a wide receiver, and a center because I love running the football. So now guys, we're gonna take a look at our weekly schedule for this year. In week one, we face the North Carolina State Wolfpack at home. Week two, we start our first game on the road against the Mizzou Tigers. Week three, we continue on the road to take on the Kansas State Wildcats. Week four, we are back at home against the Vanderbilt Commodores. In week five, we start our first conference play against the Ohio Bobcats at home. Week six, we head to Kent, Ohio to take on the Kent State Golden Flashes in the battle for the anniversary award. Week seven, we face the Ball State Cardinals. So the remaining games are all MAC conference games, but in week eight, we play the Central Michigan Chippewas. In week nine, we do have a bye week, but we head to New York in week 10 as we face the Buffalo Bulls. Week 11, we face the Miami University Red Hawks. In week 12, we take on the Zips. And to end the season, we are taking on the Toledo Rockets in the battle of I-75 at home. So in all my dynasties, I go over the coach report card every seven or so weeks just to give you guys a quick update on how well I'm doing. I do have a three-year contract with Bowling Green, and if they like what they see, they can extend my contract. Our team goals for this year is to beat Toledo, receive a bowl bid, and be a five or six prestige team. I know we can knock out these goals, especially receiving a bowl bid. Beating Toledo, that would be a little bit challenging, but I'm pretty sure we can beat them. And beating a five or six prestige team, we do face a couple five prestige teams uh, early this year.
Looking at the coaching strategy, we are running with Bowling Green's playbook. I will be changing playbooks over time throughout each year, just so it won't get boring or stale. Our offensive type is the spread offense. Our offensive tendency is 55% passing and 45% running. I kind of don't like this because I like running the ball a lot, but because we're so early in the dynasty, I'm not going to adjust it just yet. We are running with the 4-3 defense. Our defense is tailored to 60% running and 40% passing. And that's a good thing because I struggle with stopping running plays. Taking a look at the gameplay settings, we are running with five minute quarters on the Heisman difficulty, play clock will be on, game fatigue will be on, injuries will be on, and home field advantage will be on. I know a lot of you have been asking what sliders I'm using, and I'm not gonna post that just yet. I'm still working on it. It just needs a few tweaks, but once I get it finalized or whenever I feel like it's great, I'll be posting that. So guys, that's going to do it for the Bowling Green Falcons intro. In the next video, we start our season opener against the North Carolina State Wolfpack. They have a B-plus overall, a B offense, and a B-plus defense. Should be challenging. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you like what you see and you would like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comment section below. That helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.